Because I've, I've always told you guys that the French, you know, they protest, they go and strike, they actually believe and have this integrated into their mindset that you need to do these things. You know, these are hard-fought gains, and they have to be uh, protected. And that's just not the case in the U.S. and the U.K. It's just not the case. You know, having... It's not enough to have one guy leading some movement, you know? Like Bernie Sanders or, or Corbyn. And then when the establishment shanked them, everything just falls apart. This is not enough. And in addition to that, in addition to that, you actually have electoral gains. Do you understand? But every single time, it's always supported by direct action, okay? The, the protests, the strikes, the general strikes that you had in France in the 20th century that were run mostly by, by the socialists, right? That, th those strikes and the general strikes, that is what supported their electoral gains, okay? And so in the US and the UK, you, you have <laughs> no direct action and no electoral gains. Whichever way you look at it, it's screwed. It's screwed. And I want to be very clear on one thing, because, you know, in the US, they'll say vote blue no matter who. They'll say, you need to come and join the Democratic Party. You have to vote for the Democratic candidate. Because if we don't do that, then Donald Trump, the fascist, will win. The thing is, you cannot <laughs> form a coalition with those people because Democrats are right wing. Do you notice when I talk about this left coalition in France, it's got communists, it's got socialists, it's got the Greens. It doesn't have neoliberals. As a matter of fact, the whole reason it exists is precisely because of neoliberals, because they're sick of Macron and, of course, Le Pen, who's basically, you know, not too different.